Hey guys, this is Grant from uh, Cool Trains in Montreal. And I thought I'd do a little, another little video here showing some of my other trains. Uh, so this is the same um, little uh, layout that I had as before, except I just changed up some of the buildings a bit. And I changed up the trains, of course. So here what I wanted to show was my Go Train. Go Transit being the uh, same thing as XO or uh, AMT is to Montreal, that's to Toronto. Probably people know the Toronto agency more because it's probably more famous. Anyways, uh, just a quick rundown. So these buildings here are DPM buildings. Maybe you've seen them before in other videos. And uh, they're modified. They're actually two kits. And what I did is I took uh, two fronts and I uh, made this angled building. I, I kind of really like this. And it, uh, it was kind of um, just by coincidence that I got these angled buildings to work well with this bridge because um, I already had this building made and I already had this angled building made. So I figured, hey, why not make uh, the road angled and then at some point I might be able to use these buildings in this way. So it was kind of planned. And uh, I had the buildings first, though. So, and uh, this building here, um, it's a um, another kit. It's not DPM. I forget. It's I think it's model power or something like this. It's a. It's actually built this way. You can get it with that angle. It's the way the the model comes. All I did was paint it differently. And um, this building here is also a DPM kit, and it's two kits together cut together and uh, spliced to make a taller building. I believe I've shown it before. So um, just to show you the versatility of this particular module, I can switch out the buildings. I'm not committing to one particular set of buildings. And uh, it just makes things different. So uh, this is what I've come up with for this video. And uh, here I wanted to show the AMT trains versus these Athern trains. So I won't compare the locomotives because as some of you know, there's a problem with the, the mechanism of the Atlas, um, ALP DP, ALP 45 DP. But what I can show you here is uh, the this GP 40 that I got, and it, it was commercially available in um, Go Transit colors, and I got it a few years ago. I want to give a little bit of a view of it. Now, Go Transit actually did apparently have these locomotives. They had bought 10 of them from a company called Rock Island, the Chicago Rock Island and Pacific. They were going uh, bankrupt. So they had these spare units and someone at Go Transit bought them, not realizing that they weren't really suited for commuter service. They were freight engines, but they got them anyway. They did paint them like this. And this one is pretty faithful. It's even got the little uh, the, the handrail plate that says Government of Ontario. This is how they actually put them. So um, there were 10 of these in the Rock Island paint scheme. And that what I, that's what I'm using. Um, this lo locomotive came as an Atlas unit. Okay. And these bi-level cars, which are the ubiquitous green and white Go Transit cars, come from Athern. And as you can see, they, they're they not close coupled either, but they seem to be closer coupled. So the gap seems to be a little less than what the AMT cars have. The AMT cars, you can see the gap. It's much more pronounced. So, I mean, I do, would I would say that's probably a, a, a big plus for these Athern cars, which came out like a decade ago or more. And just to let you know, how old these cars are. In fact, this one came from a set that was a limited edition. And look, it says like 30, 30 years of Go Transit and it's like 1997 to whatever, 67 to 97. So yeah, that's, that's how old these cars are. And they came out in like early 2000 or something in that set. So I have a whole bunch of these cars. Um, I was able to fit seven of them on here because I just wanted to show how the one thing and oh yeah here's the the the, the, the front of these cars this is this is the um, cab car the cab car is really well done because it's got all these grab irons on it and everything like that it looks exactly 
Like for N scale, that's that's really as perfect as you're gonna get. And my one complaint maybe of these cars is that it's hard to put them on the track because of the way the wheels are. So when you want to uh, move them around, they're not as free rolling maybe as well, but they're also harder to put them on the track. But that goes with the territory. And um, I'm very happy with them. It's probably one of my, now my second favorite train set since the AMT one came out. And uh, yeah, these are really great. And um, I'm gonna show this running as well as, as well as when I get a chance. Yep, so here I have a couple of uh, cars that have these, uh, the, the ends here. These are the cab cars. So I have like three cab cars on the on the train set itself. And I have a fourth one somewhere else. Yep, so this is what I wanted to show. That, uh, don't know if this Atlas locomotive is still available. I think Adhern is coming back out with these cars. And I wouldn't be surprised if they came out in the AMT scheme. Because, uh, I think AMT is just starting to get, like, the spotlight that it deserves in model trains. And, uh, yeah, uh, anyone who's interested in the AMT scheme is going to probably be very happy if these cars came out in, uh, in, um, end scale in the AMT scheme, which is slightly different than what these other cars here, these more, the more ubiquitous, um, AMT cars are. Anyways, I just want to thank you for having a look at this. And, uh, if this is interesting to you, please subscribe to, uh, Cool Trains in Montreal. I'm going to have a couple more videos like this throughout the winter months. Have a good day.